Hi, I'm Jonathan Strickland, and I have no idea where they took me. So, the weirdest thing about my arch nemesis, Superman, is that whole Clark Kent disguise. It's a ridiculous disguise, and that's fiction. But here's the crazy part. The world is full of insane disguises that actually worked. During the Civil War, Jenny Hodgers disguised herself as a man and joined the Union Army. Now, this wasn't unique. At least 400 other women did the same thing, but most tossed their disguises and resumed their civilian lives after the war. When Jenny returned to Illinois after four years of service, she continued to live as Albert Cashier. She might have carried the secret to the grave, but after a car accident in 1911, doctors discovered her secret. That's a full 50 years living in disguise. Then there's Shi Pei Pu. In 1964 Beijing, a man named Shi Pei Pu was making his living singing in the Beijing opera and teaching Chinese to diplomats' families. He met a Frenchman named Bernard Bordesco and decided to romance him as a woman. She somehow convinced Borisco that he was actually a woman pretending to be a man. Over 20 years, she also had this poor Borisco guy passing classified documents to him. The two became lovers. She even convinced Borisco that she was pregnant. They moved to Paris with a presumably adopted baby. In 1983, they were sentenced to six years in prison before being pardoned. That's when Borisco finally learned she wasn't a she after all. Willie Sutton didn't settle for just one disguise. This 20th century bank robber was known as The Actor, or Slick Willie, because of his talent with costuming and deception. Over the course of his career, he posed as a maintenance man, a policeman, a diplomat, a window cleaner, a postman, a Western Union messenger, and more. He even escaped prison by dressing as a guard and assuring the other guards that he hadn't seen himself. But disguises aren't just for people. Consider the luxurious Greenbrier Hotel, located in White Sulphur Springs, West Virginia. This building functions like a normal hotel, but it also conceals something called Project Greek Island, a top-notch underground bunker for the U.S. Congress. Built during the Cold War, this thing was designed to keep congressional families and staff operational during a nuclear holocaust. It was huge. It had a self-contained power plant, 153 rooms and a total of 112,544 square feet on two levels. And most people in the hotel had no idea what was going on until 1992, when the Washington Post leaked the story. The craziest thing about these disguises is that they actually worked. And that's just scratching the surface. Check out more master trickery in our article 10 insane disguises that actually worked and be sure to subscribe for more What the Stuff.